Alrighty guys, so this is an update to my collection. Uh, I had posted um, a video about this. It's been a little while ago. Um, and I've got a lot of new systems since then. Well, quite a few. Once that lot, but I've got a lot of new stuff. Um, I'm just going to start over here at the left and just kind of go from there. Um, <clears throat> we'll start over here with this 70. This is my 1978 um, Trinitron. I use a lot of my um, RF systems on here. Systems that run off the uh, RF signal. and uh, Which is like your Ataris and your uh, computer systems and things like that. Your old computer systems. Uh, this up here... This is a a SCART a switcher. So I got my SCART cables running through here. This is like uh, I don't have everything modified or modded for RGB, but I do have uh, quite a bit of things. So I've got them hooked into here so it just so I can switch and uh, just make it easier on me rather than plugging and unplugging. Um, oh, uh, Rise of the Dragon on Sega CD. <laughs> <laughs> got a little bit of a mess going on. <clears throat> um, so let's go down here. <clears throat> so this is this is kind of a newly required a new requ acquired system. Newly acquired. This is the Atari 400 uh, computer system. Uh, I don't have any games for it, but I have tested it, and it does actually work. Uh, and that's the thing about buying a lot of these older systems, especially when you find them out in the wild, um, which I did find this one in the wild. You don't really know <clears throat> if they're going to work. And this one didn't have an an AC-DC adapter with it, which I found out later um, requires an AC-AC adapter. So I had to find one of those online to test it, and it worked. So I thought that was cool. Um, this is one of the Coleco handhelds here, uh, the Telestar, and I made a short video on this, and it actually does work, um, so I have that one too, okay, so I got this not long ago, this is an RF switcher, so, yeah, so basically, um, you can hook up to four devices on this. So, like I said, I've got um, my RF RF uh, connections going into this and then into this. So, yeah. So, the Atari 400 would be one of those RF connections that I have hooked up. Um, as we... Let's see. We'll get down here. Okay. So, this is the Sega, Sega CD. Sega CD, 32X, there. So it's kind of like the trifecta. So, uh, mainly play my Genesis more than anything when it comes to this system here. Um, it's kind of like a novelty thing. Some of these systems are more novelty than anything. You don't really end up playing them a lot, like the 32X. There's not really... I think there's only like 30-some games for that. So, you know. Okay, so... Super Nintendo, of course, I'm a fan of the Everdrives, if you can't sell, tell. Um, really nice, um, especially if you, um, even if you have the games, you don't want to, especially some of these games are so valuable, you don't want to, like, just continue to play on, like, they might actually mess up. So. Right here, I have the regular Nintendo can't have a re cannot have a retro gaming collection without a regular Nintendo. That's just like one of the first ones you got to get. And Super Nintendo and Sega is kind of like that as well. All right, so let's make our way up. Got my home theater system that I have all of my systems hooked into so I can get home theater. This was kind of hard to find, especially for a reasonable price. Um, the big thing was I wanted something that had HDMI connections, component, S-video, composite. Um, I needed everything. And it's there's like a time period where you could find one when they were made that had all of those connections. So it just had everything. Um, usually you'll find them with HDMI, 
only or composite only and some component but to find them both it's kind of difficult okay um this is my pvm monitor uh the olympus oev203 but it's actually a rebranded sony trinitron pvm but uh yeah this is what i do all my retro gaming on uh except like i said for my rf systems which they go there okay so next this is the commodore vic 20 which i somehow left on okay it's uh, one of my computer systems again like the atari 400 uh that's that one that one's kind of new as well haven't got any games for that although i do have something ordered for that that i'll be able to play some games on that is my modded PlayStation 2. It's been giving me a little trouble lately, though. A little bit of issue with that. But uh, it's region-free. Um, like I said, I've been having some issues with that, though. Okay, my N64. Of course, again, got the EverDrive. And then my Sega Saturn. Um, that's one i haven't played a lot of stuff for i said i've got it if anybody would like to recommend a title for that system maybe i could play i'd give it a shot all right gonna make our way up so i got my computer monitor here um usually this is what i use as my screen so like if i'm gaming on this television here i'll actually um monitor it with this uh, computer monitor like when i'm using um OBS software. I use this. This little device right here. This is the OSSC. This is how I capture. Um, it's not my capture card, but this is how I scale my retro games from uh, SCART uh, RGB um, to HDMI. I use this little guy right here, uh, and I can scale that, you know, in various resolutions. Okay. PlayStation 1. This one's kind of new. This is the Magnavox Odyssey 2. That one was pretty cool. I got the Sega Dreamcast, of course. I have, this is my Atari 7800 Pro system. All right. Moving along, all right. I have my gaming monitor here. This is for my HD systems or if I wanna watch movies and things like that. I use this guy right here. Uh, got some basket full of various things, but this is the remotes here. Uh, my Atari 2600. Now this is one I kinda wish, it's gonna sound crazy, but see I've got this one. Atari is, is RF as well. I wish this is a composite modded, you know, that actually does give a better picture quality. But the big thing is, is I can't I can't play it on my my 78 Sony Trinitron over there. So I really I'm trying to keep those as pure as possible. Cuz it's not really something I plan on streaming anyways, so I kind of want to um I want to hook them up to that song, that 78 Sony and kind of keep them hooked up to it. But this one, like I said, is composite. Uh, I might eventually, I don't know, I might get like the Atari Junior or something like that and hook it up to the 78 Trinitron. Because I kind of still want to keep it though. I don't want to get rid of it. Um, so I got some newer systems here. I got my Wii, Wii U, and then I got my Switch over there. And a random uh, power block. Okay, and like I said, we're kind of getting into the newer stuff now. So I got my PS3, my PS4, and then I've got some controllers there. And I got my PC over there, of course. But yeah, that's pretty much it though, at the moment. Kind of give you a... So yeah, it's still a working process. Um, I'm also going to be moving soon, so... I'm going to try to um, reorganize a lot of this stuff. 
to make it look a little nicer. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this video and I will see y'all next time. Thanks.